In honor of Goku Black History Month, I've decided to talk about the GOAT himself, Goku Black. Was Goku Black's actions justified? Well, before he became Goku Black, he was first Zamatsu. He was just a Supreme Kai under the training of, he was a future Supreme Kai under the training of Gowasu. Watching Earth, watching, or basically watching everything that was happening on Earth from the present, from the from the past, all the way to the current times in their alternate universe because they are universe nine, I think. Either universe nine or universe 10. And right off the rip, you could tell that Zamatsu does not like people, which is kind of like any anti-social person. They don't like people, but not to this extent. Let's just get that clear, not to this extent. Zamatsu was just sitting back watching everything happen in the world, questioning why doesn't he, why don't the Supreme Kai's do something about it? Why doesn't, why don't they basically be, well, I don't wanna say God, but I mean, they're, they're, they're gods, but still, but not God gods, let's just say that. Zamasu just questioning why don't we why don't we intervene every time something bad happens and stuff like that and Gowasu says and that ain't our job our job is to watch is to watch just like the angels are assigned to just train and watch the gods of destructions we ain't supposed to do nothing that's literally what the supreme Kai's are supposed to do just sit back in the cut watch everything go down and that's it but Zamatsu wasn't having that Zamatsu literally does not like anybody the first thing he saw was two primates fighting each other and questioning why these why are they fighting why don't we stop this i should do something about this i don't like this i don't like them you could just tell right off the rip he did not like them he was, he was pissed off he was literally pissed off every time he saw anything happening on earth or any other planet he was literally pissed off he did not like any of it he was like you know what i think i should do something about this but he really couldn't because he wasn't built like that and because he wasn't a supreme kai so he can't really do anything but luckily he got some proper motivation it all started with everyone's favorite protagonist goku this man goku this man goku beat the racism in zamatsu like he was already prejudiced but goku 100 percent intensified it this man zamatsu thought he was supposed to have a friendly spar with a human he's like why am i fighting a human he ain't even on my level and then he got washed and this man zamatsu said nah i can't have that i gotta get my lick back because i i can't go out like this this man literally he was his hate was so intensified that he literally went on youtube or basically god tube and does what every single dragon ball fan does in real life go on youtube and watch all the dragon watch dragon ball fights and particularly goku fights that's literally what he did he watched every single thing that goku did and was like man these hum this this universe is kind of i don't like this universe they got too much intervention with the guys they're they're, they're doing too much they they, they they doing too much i need to do something about this but he couldn't because Gowatsu was still the Supreme Kai and he can't really do anything. He can't go back in time and do all that and do what needs to be done. But here's the difference between the anime and the manga. In the anime, in the anime, Zamatsu, Zamatsu kills every single, uh, well, Zamatsu and Goku Black kill every single Supreme Kai, which I don't really like. I think it's kind of stupid because there's no way that the gods of destruction are just gonna sit back and watch some, watch somebody kill every single god kill every single supreme kai in each universe like it's nothing i mean i know some i know the i know some of the gods of destruction are lazy and stuff but there's got to be some that just ain't gonna sit back and let that happen so i kind of I, I think that's kind of iffy but in the manga uh after gawatsu after after zamatsu kills zamatsu I, <laughs> That's a tongue twister. After Zamatsu kills Gowasu, he goes, he he goes, he searches through every single universe, seeing where there is not a Supreme Kai. And luckily behold, future Trunk 
Future Trunks' timeline doesn't have one because because Supreme Kai died during the Boo Saga. He sacrificed himself in order for Trunks to kill the Bora and Bobbity. So once they fig- once they found that, they was like, "Oh, this is perfect." So you mean Zamatsu was like, "So you mean to tell me that not only did I just steal this man, steal the person that I hate's body, but in his universe, there's no Supreme Kai, and I can do whatever I want." This is perfect. This is just perfect. Moi bien. This is this is perfect. This is the best day ever. And long behold, Zamatsu or Goku Black literally causes havoc. Trunks fought so hard to get the peace that he had, only for Goku Black to just come back. Just Zamatsu just come in there and just ruin every single thing. And Honestly, I think the Goku Black is probably the best arc in Dragon Ball Super, anime-wise. But the manga, the manga's ending was pure trash. I'm not even gonna lie. The, the manga ending of Goku Black, like, like if you had a problem with the Goku Black ending in the anime, then you're probably gonna have a, a bad experience with the Goku Black ending in the manga because it was just pure trash. Let's just say that. I'm, I'm not gonna go into details, but if you know, you know it's it, it's trash. So, Goku Black terrorizes Trunks' time, Trunks' future, kills everybody. Well, not everybody, but he kills Bulma, and just basically doing what what 17 and 18 did, but times 10. And and before I get into anything, I need to talk about the Zero Mortal Plan. The Zero Mortal Plan was something that Zamatsu probably had in his head since he was a child. And the, the first thing that came, when he came out the womb, that was literally the first thing that came to mind. He was like, hmm, like, instead of, wah, wah, instead of a baby crying, he said, zero mortal plan. And his parents was like, what the hell are you talking about? Zero mortal plan? What is he talking, what is he talking about? But I bet his parents were like, oh my goodness, Instead of crying, his words were, he said something. He, instead of crying, it was his first words. Kind of like that meme, kind of like that baby meme in a, from a, from an anime where he's like, where the baby says his name and then it's like, what, he can talk? I don't know the anime, but I, I know the scene, I know the moment. But, uh, but yeah. Zamatsu basically wants to kill every single human, every single mortal on the planet. Hence the name Zero Mortal Plan. And the thing about it is, he actually got the dub. Goku Black is probably Goku Black or Zamatsu, whichever one you want to call, is probably the only villain in Dragon Ball history to actually succeed and do his job. Goku Black was so dangerous that he basically we basically had to get clapped by Zama- by uh, Zeno Samada. He literally had to get clapped by him. Uh, Zeno literally erased Trunks' timeline. He he killed everybody. So Zamatsu technically, technically won his one did his job. He did he did what a villain was supposed to do. Even if it cost him his life, he still got the dub. So hey, uh, did it. hey, a win's a win. Even if it even if even in debt, the win's a win. But but like. Goku Black, man, just Go- Goku Black was just something special in my honest opinion. I mean, I know people don't like the whole Goku Black thing. I mean, I thought it was pretty cool. I mean, I liked it. I, I liked it. I mean, people were talking about Goten Black or Gohan Black. Like, first of all, that really wouldn't make sense because, okay, Zamatsu, he traveled, he traveled in, um, he traveled, I think he traveled in our timeline. To uh to, to 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 kill Goku and take his powers and stuff, I think he went. I think he went into our timeline because there's no Goku and Vegeta on any other planets besides Universe Seven. So yeah, he he definitely traveled back into our time and killed them. So 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 what the, what I'm saying is, why would Goten Black be a thing? Because Goten Goten was a kid. Why would he, why would go why was Zumatsu do all this planning and all this all this planning and calculating just to transfer his soul transfer his alternate self into the body of a little kid like it doesn't make any sense and and if that was the case 
he would literally get washed. He would literally get washed by every single person. So I don't. So that 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 that. So that that get rid of that. So that's that's done. And then Go Gohan Black. I mean Gohan Black. Yeah. Depends on the age. I mean, if it's adult Gohan, I mean, if it's adult Gohan, there really wouldn't be a point. If it's teen Gohan, Boo Saga Gohan, because Go, uh, Gohan was still technically a kid in the Cell Saga, so that whole teen Gohan thing, yeah. So if it was Gohan, then maybe, maybe, just a tad bit, just a tad bit, maybe, might have been colder. Because it would have been colder because of how connected trunks is to gohan or future gohan so it would make sense and it would have been not it, and i okay i could kind of see i kind of see why people would have liked the gohan black because of the connection between trunks and gohan and how gohan raised and mentor mentored trunks into the person he is today i can i, I can see why and uh and plus it would be it would have been a good excuse for gohan to get back on this grind because at the end because once our Gohan found out what was going on in Trunks' timeline. He was mad. He was mad. He was mad and disappointed that Trunks didn't even come to ask him for help because because of how weak he is now, how laid back he is, and how much of a family man he is now. Because I get why Trunks didn't ask him because because Future Gohan wanted the same thing. Go go. Our Gohan did. He wanted to be a scholar. He wanted to. He wanted to have a normal life and all that other stuff. He wanted that too, but couldn't because of the androids. So I get why Trunks didn't, didn't even bother telling him. Gohan was just wondering why he was there, and and Trunks didn't even say anything about it. So I get why, I get why he did it. But it would have been cold if it was like Gohan Black Man. Go, oh man, I'm I'm getting excited, Loki, thinking about Gohan Black because I think that would have been cold. I'm not even. That 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 that, that would have been colder than Goten Black. I right, let's just get that out the frame. That that'd have been colder. That Goten Black crap is is stupid in my opinion. Plus we never. Uh, the, I, I'm not even. Gonna, I'm not gonna say anything else about it. But Goten Black is stupid. Let's just say that Goten Black is stupid. Gohan Black would have been cold. Goku Black, I liked it, but Gohan Black would have been colder. Like Goku Black, man. Goku Black was not playing around. He came off like Zamatsu was the one just chilling in the cut. He hardly did any dirt. He only did dirt if nest if needed to. Goku Black was the one that was causing all the mayhem. He was the one killing everybody, putting his name out there in the streets and all that stuff. He he was the one killing everybody. He was the one he was the one washing trunks and all that. Like Goku Black, and then when Goku Black went back in time to go fight our Goku just to see like the the power difference, it was so cold. And then Goku Black. When Goku Black, man, I, okay. When Goku Black fought Vegeta, I've said this before, man. But when Goku Black fought Vegeta, I was literally ready to drop the anime. I was really ready to drop. I was ready to drop Dragon Ball Super right then and there because it was the same formula. Like it was the same formula. Vegeta gotta get washed and. And everybody gotta get their jokes in on on the on Vegeta. I'm like, bro, I'm not, I'm I'm too old to be dealing with this crap anymore. Like, change up the format or something. I ain't got time to be dealing with these these Goku these these Vegeta L's. I ain't got time to be dealing with that because it's stupid. It's stupid in my honest opinion. I don't really like it. I, I think it's pretty played out now. I mean, you, you're I mean, Kira Toriyama not even writing the story anymore. So you could you could literally change that up. I mean, they technically have been changing it up in terms of Vegeta's character and how. How many badass moments he's had recently, but it's still the same formula at the end of the day. But um, Goku, when Goku Black achieved Super Saiyan Rose, I knew this was going to be a problem. Go Super Saiyan Rose, in my honest opinion, is probably one of the coldest transformations in Dragon Ball Super, besides Ultra Instinct and Ultra Ego and stuff like that, and Beast Gohan and stuff. I think it's one of the I think it's one of the best Super Saiyan transformations because I really love that pink that pink aura that pink color. It's like it's like a certain type of royalty to it. Like it, it that's what makes it so cold. It's like a type of royalty to it. Like that's it separates it from Super Saiyan, Super Saiyan Two, Super Saiyan Three, Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Blue. It separates it separates it from all that. That that's what makes it so special to me. And I think it would be dope. If somebody actually got that transformation, like I don't know, 
Goku, I don't, ah, Goku get get pink somehow. That that be Goku's next transformation. I mean, even though he's kind of like focusing on Ultra Instinct now, so I don't think we'll ever see like another transformation from Goku because I think he's just sticking to Ultra Instinct. But I would really love to see Super Saiyan Rose again. Not from Goku Black because I don't know how the hell they would even bring Goku Black back anyway. So I think it would be. I, I would love to see a different character have it. Goten Trunks. Not Gohan, because Gohan already has his Ultra Instinct Beast form. So there's that. But, uh, yeah. Goku Black, honestly, was a Matsu. He honestly had no reason. He, he, he had he had reasons. He, 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 he had his reasons. I don't blame him for what he did. I don't like him killing Boma. I don't like him, uh, I don't like, I don't like him doing certain things. But his actions were justified. How would you feel if somebody washed you in front of your squad, in front of your home, in front of in front of your squad in front of your home and you couldn't and you couldn't get your get back your lick back because you was you was limited to stuff so i get why i get why zamatsu did what he did and why goku black did what he did uh i don't think he did anything wrong he he did nothing wrong except kill boma but his actions were justified he he did everything he needed to he got his lick back he he got his lick back he, he kept rubbing it in their faces and every single thing. So, yeah, he did what he did what needed to be done. Goku Black did nothing wrong. Goku Black was in the right. Goku Black was the GOAT. Goku Black had the best stock in Dragon Ball Super. Goku Black is that guy. Goku Black History Months. Goku Black is so raw that anime fans literally call Black History Month Goku Black History Month. Like that's how that's how raw he that's how raw he is. I I, I, I didn't I don't make the rules. I don't make the rules. I'm just spitting facts. Goku Black is so raw that it's called we, we people call it Goku Black History Month. And Goku Black is a racist. Wazamatsu is a racist. He hates mortals. He hates monkeys and all that other stuff. Like how do like Frieza ain't even on that type of racism. Frieza, Frieza ain't even on that level. He ain't on that level. Frieza is a coon. He's a coon emperor now because of Black Frieza. But Goku Black, Goku Black is so raw that he got a month named after him. Goku Black History Month. Like, come on. Come on. I, 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 I'm going to just leave it at that. I, I'll just leave it at that. Let me know how you feel in the comments. Do you think Goku Black's actions were justifiable? Thank you for watching the video. Leave a like, comment, share, subscribe. Thank you, and I'll see you in the next one.